vodka gimlet. Now, gimlets, vodka gimlets are very similar, it's just gin versus vodka, and the recipes that I've only seen for uh, vodka gimlets had powdered sugar in them to try to offset a little bit more of the, the, the vodka. The, the vodka itself, if you use potato vodka, I think it would take care of some of that because potato vodka doesn't quite get the wang that the regular vodka does, but play with that, figure out what you want, but tonight we're going to use some powdered sugar. So the first thing you want to do is get a glass with some ice. It's running kind of low, so I can get that with my hand. If you work at a bar, don't do that. It's kind of gross. Okay, now, all the drinks that I make, regardless of anything in this channel, they're all proportional. If, if your glasses are different or anything else, think proportions. Don't think of uh, absolutes. Don't try to find the exact same glass I have because that will drive you insane. Uh, this recipe calls for uh, an ounce of lime juice, and I would use fresh squeezed lime juice, not rosies for the vodka one. So let's use an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. We're going to need one and a half ounces of vodka. Get that off here. An ounce and a half of vodka. Sugar. Take what you put in the glass here, put it in here, and we want to give it a shake. Now, if we change glasses, just pour the front back into this, and we want to garnish that with a line wheel either stuck to the side or you can just kind of tuck it down in there. I like the way that looks a lot sometimes. <laughs> and there you have a vodka gimlet. Thanks for watching. Always drink responsibly and remember that alcohol is never the answer. It just makes you forget the question. See you next time. Thank you.